So uh, the reason why I'm bringing up about HTML Switzerland straight away is because there are factors which are going to be shared that I'll be sharing in the presentation itself that really closely relates to the topic that we're going to discuss about how personality development, how that international exposure um, is going to be valid for students and for any, for the matter, even adults who want to pursue a career in general towards hospitality, because hospitality is an industry which really requires people to be on the stage. And that confidence, that level of appreciation of the industry and that level of, I would say, uh, goal setting really is what HTMI is really looking at, because we are not only just a hotel school, we are leading hotel management institute in the world, ranked number 13 in globally for hospitality and leisure tourism uh, education and top 10 in terms of employer reputation. Now, when it comes to our partner campuses, like uh, already Richard, Richard has pointed out, we do have a campus and which is a mother campus in Switzerland, another campus in Singapore and other several partner schools around the world. However, we're going to focus today only on Switzerland. Now, looking at where we are, we are in lovely Sornberg. HDMI is quite centrally located to Switzerland and in terms of our campus, it is, as you can see in the picture, like a hotel. Now, this is something which comes off very odd for students or for that matter, even parents where they're like, okay, it's a hotel. Like how come the students will be like, you know, staying in a hotel when it comes to their education? Yes, that's exactly the whole point. Because in terms of education, in terms of how healthy that education really is, one needs to be doing exactly because the industry of hospitality is very hands-on. So therefore it's really necessary for students to be experiencing it firsthand and for everybody to see that, okay, what goes on behind the scene? Because the whole perception of hospitality is that the frontline staff members, which are either the front office team, the housekeepers or the uh, food and beverage servers or the kitchen, which is considered as very prolific in the hospitality industry. However, there's a huge backbone that goes together with it, such as human resources, sales and marketing, uh, general management, operations management, uh, finance for that matter, revenue management, all of this. This is where a hotel really thrives, marketing. Because in terms of a person working in a hotel, they may start at a certain level, but there is so many ways to branch out. And that's what exactly hospitality industry helps is for you as an individual to identify where is it that you want to grow and it builds that confidence in you because you will be able to know what is it that your goal is about. And that's how we have the campus set up as a hotel because it allows students to get identifying with the different roles that are there in the hospitality industry. So on the ground floor itself, we have the lab, not in a lab setup, but in an actual functioning environment. So an events management office, a food and beverage fine dining outlet. There is even a kitchen, there is a banquet uh, room, there's a front office, there's a housekeeping. Everything is there in the campus on the ground floor itself. And then the rooms, the floors above from after the ground floor, they're all for the dormitories of the students. So when it comes to students being able to take care of themselves, to be able to you know, use the facilities off on campus as a hotel and as not only just keeping in mind that this is a community that we have developed. So we have been in, the, in Switzerland for over 20 years now. And this is exactly like, you know, the reason why we have gained that popularity to the QS ranking of globally rank number 13 for a reason and considered as one of the best in the world. Because what we are looking for is developing students, not only just as employees, because that's something which is very naive for us to say that, okay, we are developing students who will be employed Rather, what we are developing are students who want to be leaders. And that's what our motto is, come as a student, become a manager. And that's what we are thriving on, is to train students to become the leaders of tomorrow and to get that confidence in them, to be able to present themselves, to be able to voice out their opinions, to be able to think out of the box. And that's where HTMI really brings out its education for the students. So in terms of the facility, like I said, it's a hotel campus. So from Sarenberg, the main point of arrival for students will be in Zurich. So that's the main city that the students will be arriving from India. 
uh, the students will be picked up from the Zurich airport and transferred directly to Sornberg in, on a highly sanitized bus. So this is something that the students will just need to share their flight details and their arrival time and arrival dates, and we'll pick them up and then we'll transfer them to the campus in Sornberg. Uh, the city, this country is very small of Switzerland, but it's very beautiful. And in terms of our location, it is one of the most healthiest and most hygienic and the most safest in the world. Uh, I would say in the overall population of Sorenberg, because this is on the outskirts of the main city of Luzern, it, it has a total population of about 2000 individuals. So students will be in a very highly protected environment with a lot of activities around, which I'll show you in the next few slides as well. Now, in terms of our ranking, like I said, we're overall ranked number 13. Our bachelor's degree is awarded by the Ulster University, and which is a ranked number one university in the UK for the bachelor's of honors degree. So it's a BSc honors. We are one of those few institutes that provides a BSc honors degree than a BA in hospitality and tourism management education. And our Edinburgh, the master's degree is awarded by the Edinburgh Napier University. This is also a top 10 university in the U hospitality management in the UK. All our other programs, such as the certificate diploma, higher diploma, as well as your uh, uh, postgraduate diplomas, we have all the programs recognized by EDIPA and BAC, as well as the World Association of Chefs for our culinary students. Now, like I said, our motto is for students to come as a student, become a manager. Now, for me as a person and as an individual, because I studied here at HGMI Switzerland myself, it means a lot to me. It, it holds a lot of value for me because the whole idea of this is that the Institute is empowering me to think in a very broad mindset. If there is a project that involves an individual group of four, in, four, four individuals, I need to work there as a team. I need to make sure that I will be the person who is going to take the lead. I want to be the person who will take more responsibilities and be taking care of the others that are going to be under my wing. And that's what really helped me to be a leader, to be not, or in some cases, to be a support. Because they, if there are too many leaders in one group, they would then have a mishmash of everything. So it's very important for not only just a student, but for individuals in general to identify the role that they're in as to how important and how uh, key their functionality is in that dynamic of a group. So it really helps with you're in a, in a dynamic of a team to work as either as one whole functioning unit. And that's where HTMI really did help in terms of uh, building that confidence for me and uh, to not only just serve myself as a as as the person who worked in the industry but to work all together with the people from different nationalities we have over 35 different nationalities and yes there is a certain coping mechanism that really is there that's you know it allows students to say that okay i have been there with over 35 nationalities in this year and for me to be able to communicate more effectively, yes, I need to be very clear, I need to be very concise, I need to be very precise as to what I'm saying. Because the whole idea is that certain times your ideas are making sense to you, but sometimes you were not able to give it shape. And that's where, like, you know, with all the support that we are provided from HTMI or the HTMI Institute provides to the students, their ideas are given shape and form. They're given that, I would say, that guidance as to how they can make this into an, a working project. So we have a concept which is to an entrepreneurial project, which is called Swarmberg Concepts. And this is where the group of individuals, they come together, they work in a group to form an idea of how to run a restaurant or how to run a hotel or how to organize an event. Because the whole idea is to work in that team dynamic, to work in that team dynamic to get your, your ideas together, to make your ideas stand out and to make it all stand as an important factor for your own development. So all these are there for, for me, that's what it means, come as a student, because yes, we are unmolded, become a manager because we want to be molded and because we want to become leaders, because we are looking at becoming more of not only just 
a part of a cog, but we want to be the main wheel of the entire revolution. Now, moving forward. Uh, so at HTMI, we have six centers of excellence. I'll go through them with each of one of you briefly. So of course, we have this International Hotel School Center. We have the Center of Culinary Management. We have the Center of Research, the Career Management Center, the Center of Events, and the Student Services Center. So firstly, and the most importantly, is the leading education system that we have. So at HTMI, with our long lasting uh, partnership with the Ulster University for over 15 years, we are one of those few institutes that have brought the BSc honors degree in hospitality, tourism management. Not many universities provide that. And in terms of its global recognition, it is one of the best in the world. Uh, and I would say that it really helps not just students to write a good piece of uh, research, but also to have that knowledge and to have that mindset with the modules that we provide, with the support that we provide for the academic development, for the hands-on development in the uh, hospitality environment of HTMI. It helps students to become more than just an employee. Uh, we use Apple technology in, uh, in HTMI, so students are issued Apple iPads upon the first week of arrival on HTMI campus, which will then be used as a part of their educational tool. Uh, like I said, we are working, we are running a real world hotel campus. So this really helps students to get to train exactly in a proper environment of a hotel, be it in terms of housekeeping, be it in terms of uh, food and beverage, uh, how to serve a, uh, how to serve a crepe suzette, how to do a flambe, how to serve a, a dessert to directly on the plate of this customer. The, all of this is being taught by us and it's taught by our leading, uh, I would say faculty members who have several years of experience on campus and they bring a lot on the table. So in terms of Swiss professional behaviorism, now this is something which again, I think is a part of not only just developing your confidence, but and for you to have that capability to go beyond, to put yourself in that, not only just the comfort zone, but I would rather say the discomfort zone because to be a person of success, you need to have discipline. You need to have a certain punctuality. You need to have a certain amount of uh, accountability. And all of this is achieved through the Swiss behavior, professional behavioral training that we have on campus. It gives you the confidence to be saying that, okay, I am, I am responsible for my actions. I am responsible for what I want to develop for myself in the future. Because the whole idea is that in the end, with all these educational facilities that we have on campus, we are looking at developing, again, leaders of the hospitality industry. And this is where the how to work in events, how to work in a teamwork dynamic, and being able to present themselves, the students, to be able to present themselves to the industry or to be able to have a successful career in the hospitality industry, not only just the hospitality industry, in any field for that matter, it really helps students to get that confidence to boost themselves and to have that professional behaviorism adapted from the Swiss culture that we, uh, that we uh, have at HTMI Switzerland. Uh, in terms of our leading research center, we have uh, over 23 research conferences that we have uh, organized. Now, it's very essential for students to understand that there, due to the pandemic, there was a bit of, a I would say, a challenge on how to get new information, on how to get contemporary issues, topics to write about. However, at HTMI Switzerland, we have, since 2009, we have been well prepared of, with our online student journals. These are actual uh, journals, articles that have been published by the students for the students on campus, and they're available online. So therefore, it really helps students to not only just write, to know about different parts of the hospitality industry, but what are the contemporary issues that are going, that are really aching in terms of uh, overall hospitality. How has economy, for example, the downturn of the economy affected the revenue management uh, practices in the hospitality industry? Examples like these are available on the student platform, which helps students to develop their own learning availability. And of course, 
with the pandemic slowing down, we will be organizing the 24th International Research Conferences. Now here, students will have that unique opportunity to interact with our partner campuses from different parts of the world, along with our partners from Austin University, as well as the Edinburgh Napier University, plus industrial leaders, such as owners, managing directors of different hot leading hotel hotels from around the world, such as from Aqua Hotels, Hyatt, <clears throat> as well as from Marriott. Right, now moving forward to our events management. Now, in terms of events, now, hospitality is an industry that really thrives off of events and that's something which is kind of overlooked by many individuals when it comes to be working in the hospitality industry because most of the revenue that is generated by uh, the hospitality industry is through events be it for any kind of a party be it a wedding be it a uh, any kind of competition be it a fashion show for example most of these events they take place in a hotel and in terms of being able to cater to such VIPs, we organize at HTMI and international gala events twice a year that provide students with the platform to interact with proper VIPs. When I'm saying VIPs, they are not, of course, actors or actresses. However, they are more important than the actors and actresses because they represent delegates. They are delegates from different nationalities who are representing their embassies. So, ambassadors from South Africa, ambassadors from Romania, from Hungary, all in the local area of Switzerland, they come in to dine with us at HTMI to see, and we showcase the best of the best of hospitality has to offer at HTMI Switzerland, because we want students to be able to cater to the needs and to the special, uh, I would say, preferences that are there <clears throat> when it comes to uh, handling VIPs. So therefore, it is really crucial for us at HTML so on to provide students with that exposure, to provide students with that learning experience, to not only just build their confidence, but to be professional and to have that close to real world experience. Because in the real world environment, they will have to be on their own and we prepare them for this con for a continuous learning experience with HTML to begin with. Of course. At HTMI, we have organized our students to take part in global events as well, such as the Olympics and the FIFA World Cup as well. Now, our next center of excellence is held, is headed by Chef Andreas Kurfors, uh, which is the culinary management uh, center. He holds two world records for baking the biggest cake in the world back in 95, and for having organized the biggest dessert buffet in the world. So that had over, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 2,000 items off <clears throat> on the dessert buffet. He is highly prolific, highly qualified, over 40 years of experience in the hospitality industry, worked with Marriott before, biggest hotel company in the world, uh, served as executive chefs in, on several occasions, in, especially in Saudi Arabia, in Oman, in Dubai, he is one of a kind, and I believe in terms of students who are interested in culinary or baking and pastry, he is the right person to go to for developing their careers because he is the one who will guide students exactly to what they want to develop for their own careers and provides them with the confidence you can make mistakes because that's what hospitality is about. There is trial and error. However, we are trying to make students perfected to minimize those errors so that as soon as they are in the industry they are able to face anything that will come towards them and that's where the confidence really is built from our side <clears throat> moving forward is of course our career management center now when it comes to students having to know that okay i have finished my education i've been trained with hdmi now what what's going to happen next so right from day one of students arriving on campus students will be groomed right from the get-go. We develop them professionally because we want our students to be employed at 100% rate. So in the first week itself <clears throat> upon their arrival, yes, they do get the iPad, but at the same time, their grooming standards are taken into consideration. So how, how are they dressed properly? Is, there, is the shave uh, happening on a daily basis? If they have too much of hair, facial hair, that needs to be corrected. Is their hair 
too long, that needs to be corrected. Is If their fingernails are too long, that needs to be corrected. Their grooming standards in terms of their shirt, is it ironed? Because in hospitality or for that matter, in any industry, your first impression is your last impression. So therefore, it is really important for our students and we make sure that our students are always at tip top and always at, presented at the top of the line because that's the reason why we have that employer reputation to be top 10 in the world ranking for employer reputation. In terms of students support that we provide, we help students to be attending a workshop in the first week itself of how to write their own CVs, how to write their own motivational letters, how to write a professional LinkedIn profile, and to how to be taking a professional photograph. So once their grooming has been corrected, they will be going for the professional photographs as well as to get their CVs and motivation letters organized. Now, when it comes to students' uh, CV circulation, so at the Career Center, students will be provided with the opportunities to get internships because that's the structures that we follow. Six months of studies followed by six months of internship, to be it any year. Now, in terms of students saying that they have to be in, uh, like, you know, in uniform, yes, we do expect students to always be in uniform because what we want is students to know that this is what is going to be expected in the real world. Now, uh, once they have finished their CVs, once they have finished their overall uh, uh, motivation letters, there's, their documents will be circulated in the industry, in Switzerland itself. And what we want is for students to be employed within the first two months itself upon their arrival. Therefore, in that period, once they have finished their documents, we'll circulate it and we will help them to be then prepared for the interview process as well, based on what they are preferring to go for their internships. And these are paid internships where the students are earning 2,000 first francs per month, which is equivalent to that of the US dollar. And in rupees, that is around about one and a half lakh in rupees per month, which the students will be getting to be paid in Switzerland itself. Now, uh, moving forward, for students who say that, okay, I've finished my course completely and I want to get a full-time job now. Yes, we do have, again, the career support that we will provide to the students once they have graduated, because what we want is our students to be graduated within the first two months of their graduation. And that's where we are standing at 95%. And we're looking for pushing it forward to 100% graduation, successful graduate employments. Now, in terms of our networks, we have several. And uh, so there is, of course, Marriott Hotels, Intercontinental Hotels, Aqua Hotels, Hyatt, Taj, for that matter, where our students are placed. And we are the only Swiss hotel school in the world that has its own chain of Swiss hotels. So this is a property that is based in Xi'an, China. So we, this is Swiss Touches Hotel, where students are more than welcome to be employed for all our future graduates and they will serve as brand ambassadors at, a, at Swiss Touches. Now, in terms of the student's lifestyle, what we have on campus is firstly the understanding that students are from different backgrounds. So what we want is students to be feeling home away from home, right? So what's really important is for students to be mingled, right? So if a student says that, right, I, I'm very comfortable because I'm Indian, I want to be with an Indian friend or I want to be in the in a group of Indians, sure, that is not a problem. Of course, we do highly encourage students to be intercultural, to be mingled with each other because it's an international family. On campus, we have, of course, this, like I said, the students will be living in on campus itself. So and on the picture on the left, as you can see, most of our rooms are with balconies. So the students will have a view directly to the Swiss Alps and they have some seating arrangement available directly on the balcony itself. Each student will have their own bed that will be provided along with their own workspaces. There's a refrigerator of 60 liters that is provided in the room itself. And in terms of the uh, bed linens, in terms of their towels, etc., their wardrobes, all of it is provided by HDMI. This will be changed on a regular basis per week which the students can go to the laundry and get it changed. If the student has any kind of dietary needs, such as vegetarian food, non-vegetarian food, uh, any kind of dietary restrictions, let's say they're allergic to peanuts, 
they can let us know within the first week itself. And of course, our chefs will then be taking care of their dietary needs as well. Now on campus, we have a full, fully, uh, fully heated swimming pool. We have a sauna. We have also got a fully equipped gym. As well, we have got an outdoor football court and an outdoor, out, outdoor basketball court. <clears throat> In terms of the facility of the bar training, on throughout the week, this is used as their tr the training facility for the students. However, on Friday evenings, it becomes the bar where the students can enjoy a drink or an evening out with friends. This is, of course, to encourage students to be mingling together, to be able to get to know each other, all that. Um, in terms of the cultural evenings that we have, so every Friday evening, we also do have got a per cultural evening from different, uh, let's say, Indian night or Romanian night or Russian night. This is something which allows students to showcase their own specialties of their cuisines in campus. So again, organization of these events, it helps students to work in that team dynamic. It helps students to, you know, get again to that confidence because they are representing a whole nationality by uh, by a group so and this is something which you know it kind of pushes students the whole dynamic of it it helps students to gain that confidence that okay i can do this you know even though students say that okay i don't know how to cook right now but once they're on campus they will gain that confidence yes i want to do the best i want to show the best i want to showcase the best of my nationality so that kind of really does help students to bring it out uh, and you know portray it uh, when it comes to these cultural evenings. And of course, like besides all these facilities, we also do arrange for students to go on uh, bi-weekly trips to the nearest city by the name of Lutern. So it's a fully uh, arranged bus by us at HTMI Switzerland. Students are picked up from campus at eight o'clock in the morning. They're dropped off in Lutern and they get to spend the entire day in Lucerne. By five o'clock, they get picked up again from me, from the uh, drop-off location, and they're brought back to by 6 p.m. to HTML Switzerland campus, right in time for dinner. Uh, other than that, of course, we do organize uh, cheese factory trips, chocolate factory trips, wine yard trips, which is something that Switzerland is famous for because we do want students to get that international exposure because they're in Switzerland to have that full experience of Switzerland. Now, in terms of the programs that we have, we have, of course, the bachelor's degree. Uh, we have, this is an undergraduate course where students who are fresh graduates from their 10 plus two or their grade 12, they can apply for the certificate course, which is going to be the first step. So the IELTS requirement here is 5.0 for students. IELTS is mandatory in order for students to move forward for their uh, education or the application proceedings for the visa application process. They need to have graduated from all uh, 12th grade, uh, I would say, uh, subjects in order for them to apply. They need to have completed their year 12 completely. So from here, the students apply for a certificate international hotel and tourism operations. <clears throat> now this is for a duration of one year where students will be six months fully on campus, where their accommodation, their meals, their, which is lunch, breakfast, lunch, dinner, will be taken care of, including their accommodation on campus. <clears throat> the following six months, which they will be doing their internship, <clears throat> the employer will be taking care of their pay. They will be taking care of their, uh, their accommodation as well as their meals. Now, <clears throat> these are paid internships, like I said. So this really gives a good confidence boost for students to move forward and to applying for there, uh, not only just education, but also to get that international exposure while they will be completely independently working and living at the same time. So it is a good kickstart for the students' careers to already pave their way towards success and be able to gain confidence in the industry. Now, moving forward to their year two, students can then move forward to diploma. Now, each year is named as certificate diploma, higher diploma, and BSc because each year students will be receiving an award at the end of each uh, level that they complete. So this really helps students to know that, you know, that they have not only just completed a part of the course, but they have got an award for it as well. 
So this really helps again, you know, boost that confidence that they, yeah, they're qualified at a certain level in the hospitality industry. Now, <clears throat> moving forward is their year two, which is Diploma in International Hotel and Tourism Management, which follows the same structure of six months of study followed by six months of internship. Then there's year three, which is higher diploma in international hospitality and tourism operations, which is again, six months of studies followed by six months of internship. And then there is the BSc degree, which is a bachelor's of honors degree in international hospitality tourism management awarded by Ulster University in the UK. So this is something that the students will be getting in hand once they have finished. And all of this is with this six plus six option of six months studies followed by six months of internship in Switzerland. <clears throat> Moving forward, of course, we do have several other options as well. If students are interested in tourism and marketing, events management, international marketing, we do have BA degrees for that. So we have six uh, BA degrees as well as a BSc, specialized BSc degree in culinary arts for students who are interested to move forward in the field or specialize in the field of culinary. Now, of course, we have a postgraduate program as well. This is particularly for students who have already got a bachelor's degree in any discipline, or for that matter, any students who already have a bachelor's degree in hospitality management. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, <clears throat> in terms of students who want to apply for the postgraduate diploma, who have a bachelor's degree in any discipline, they will be going for a two-year course where in the year one, they do six months of studies followed by six months of internship. It's a crash course of everything from the certificate diploma and the higher diploma level. And IELTS requirement for this is 5.5. So <clears throat> students who already have a bachelor's degree in any discipline, they will be the ones who will be going forward into the postgraduate diploma where they will be doing one full year, six months of studies followed by six months of internship followed by which they will go into their year two, where they will be going for the master's and MSc degree in hospitality and tourism management, which is awarded by Edinburgh Napier University, along with the students getting an MBA in hospitality management from HTMI. Now, <clears throat> in terms of the structure that is followed is also the same, six months of studies followed by six months of internship in Switzerland itself. Uh, students who are keen on staying back that is something which is a possibility to do an optional dissertation course, which is for a duration of six months. So there is an additional fee attached to it. Students who already have a bachelor's degree in hospitality and tourism management, they can go directly for the uh, uh, Edinburgh Napier University program, which is the MSc degree. Now, this really helps students to gain, you know, like it really helps students who already have a bachelor's degree to go directly for a one-year course instead of going a two-year course because many master's programs are for two years. So if they already have a specialization degree in India, they have finished a hospitality with let's say IHM Usarod in India or IHM Hesat, they can go directly for this course, which is a one-year course. This, the IELTS requirements for this is of course an IELTS level of 6.0, where the students will be again, doing that one full year of education, which is six months of studies followed by six months of intern internship in Switzerland itself. Kindly note, students will only be receiving their, their award with Edinburgh, Edinburgh Napier University once they have finished their dissertation. So that is a very, I would say, crucial module that all students would need to finish <clears throat> in order for them to move forward into the uh, progress to get the award for the master's degree. Then, of course, we have the Swiss European Culinary Arts course. Now, this is particularly for students who are very dedicated to their art of baking and pastry or culinary arts. Some students, especially who are, want to become chefs, this is a kind of course that they will be most beneficial, best beneficial to gain uh, an advantage out of. So students who all want to apply for the diploma in baking and pastry or culinary arts, they can go directly for the diploma program where they would require an IELTS score of 5.0 uh, and they would need to have a huge passion for the hospitality industry in my opinion. They could be of course students who have finished their grade 12 and go directly for this. Uh, so moving forward if a student wants to go for a postgraduate diploma in European baking and pastry or culinary arts they wouldn't require an IELTS score of 5.5 in order for them to pursue further for there, uh, for the uh, postgraduate diploma. <clears throat> Structure follows this the same, which is six months of studies followed by six months of internship in Switzerland itself. Then 
Lastly, if students who are really interested to go for a bachelor's degree, a specialization degree in international culinary arts, they're the ones who will be then going for six months of studies followed by six months of internship again. And once they have finished their internship through the career placement support that is provided by HTMI Culinary Association, they will be placed internationally for their full-time jobs as well. Now, uh, I will be showing this small video as well for you to see as to how the campus really is, so you get a decent idea of how we run uh, HTML Switzerland. <laughs> Great. So thank you so much for listening in. And I hope uh, my input has given you some kind of guidance about not only does HTMI, but also how we at HTMI are helping students to boost their confidence, to boost their professionalism. And I hope really would like to take questions from anybody in the audience who would like to share anything now. Thank you, Nishant. Uh, thank you for that wonderful presentation and for clearing a lot of many things that basically one, uh, it's one of the finest school, highly ranked, uh, you know, for Master University is ranked number one if somebody wants to do the bachelor's, uh, the overall Swiss culture, the six months of study and the six months of work, which, uh, and in terms of recruitment, uh, STMI is in top 10 in the world. So there's so much to talk about STMI. Uh, you know, one thing basically, uh, probably, you know, um, there was a student questionnaire uh, which I guess was missed. You want to cover that by any chance or you want to? Sure. The student so, question, yeah. In terms of, uh, uh, I think that's uh, Ms. or Mr. Putala, the fee structure and scholarship, and is it limited to hospitality and tourism management industry? So <clears throat> in terms of the study programs that we have, these are limited to hospitality, yes. Hotel management, yes. Culinary arts as well events management as well. So if any students who wants to do business management or is pursuing business management and want to have a change in their career path, that is something that we are accepting students who can pursue because we have entrepreneurial modules in the uh, study program itself. So therefore, anybody who is even in, for that matter, aviation uh, or students who are wanting to go for uh, ground staff training of the aviation industry. That is something that we are more than happy to take students from uh, in that industry as well. So, uh, because there are many transferable skills that are 
associated with the service industry in general. So anybody who is interested in the service industry will be uh, is more than welcome to apply with HTMI Switzerland. Uh, now, in terms of the fee structure, I'll just bring it up on screen. Uh, in terms of scholarships, I just want to share this here with everybody. <clears throat> so anybody who is applying directly with HTMI for the January 2022 and the March 2022 intake, there is a special reduction of 2,500 Swiss francs from their fee itself. So this is something which the students, once they apply for the January intake or for the uh, March 2022 intake, they will be getting a reduction of 2,500 from their fee structure directly. Now, in terms of a uh, student's fee structure, so I'll just bring it up on screen so that everybody has an idea as to what exactly the fee structure is. So I'll just bring it up on screen now. Great. So uh, there is firstly an option for students to study longer, which is the four-year program, or there is a graduate faster option, which is for the three-year program. So students who are going for the, the program that I have described earlier with the IELTS 5.0, they will be going directly into the certificate course. So the fee structure for that is at 27,000 Swiss francs. Like I said, the accommodation, the meals, the administration expenses, they're all included in this fee structure. So removing the accommodation meals and the, the, fee uh, the uh, overall fee payment for the uh, administration expenses, these are then coming down to only 19,000 Swiss francs. Out of this 19,000 Swiss francs, students will be making back 2,000 Swiss francs per month during their internship. So with 2,000 Swiss francs per month for six months, students will be making back 12,000 Swiss francs. So therefore, students will be earning, basically studying for a fee structure of only 7,000 Swiss francs. With this fee structure, which in Indian rupees is around about 5 lakh 70,000 Indian rupees, it's quite not only just economical, but also very lucrative for students and also beneficial for the students to be in an international environment, to be gaining that overall I would say refined experience of Swiss hospitality studies, and also for that matter, to be in the environment where students are able to build themselves confidently and professional behavior, of course. Then, of course, students will progress then to the diploma, higher diploma, as well as the bachelor's degree. So this is at 27,000 Swiss francs per year, followed by the last year at 31,500 Swiss francs. Now, moving forward to the graduate faster option, here, students who are, again, year 12 graduates, however, have an IELTS score of 5.5, they can apply directly for the diploma program with HTMI Switzerland, which is, of course, students will be then going at a faster rate of graduation, which is cutting out one full year of their education fee. <clears throat> the fee structure is only slightly, uh, I would say, revised for this. So students will be going for the first year at 30,500 Swiss francs, followed by the second year at 30,500 as well, as well as the bachelor's, which is the final year at 31,500. Again, students will be able to make back around about 50% of what they spend directly for their education, right? Uh, then we have the postgraduate diploma programs, which is for students who are keen on pursuing postgraduate diploma programs and events or masters in events, or postgraduate diploma in hospitality or master's in uh, hospitality with the Edinburgh Napier University program. So <clears throat> in terms of the fee structure here, the fee remains the same. It's 29,500 Swiss francs. And for the master's program is at 33,500 Swiss francs with the Edinburgh Napier program. Moving forward to our postgraduate diploma programs or the culinary programs in general, that is at 30,500 where the fee structure includes, again, accommodation, meals, down payment, etc. And as you can see here on screen itself, meals, accommodation and are all included in the fee structure itself. And students are making, a, I would say, a handsome sum of uh, their uh, spend directly in the same year. So it's a win-win situation for the students as well as for uh, all of us in general who are involved in terms of the learning experience. Uh, in terms of students wanting to have different choices of accommodations, of course, we do have certain uh, options for students where they can choose to be in uh, either a single accommodation if they would like to, if they prefer their own privacy, or they could be in a single uh, double 
sharing as well. Our standard sharing is a triple occupancy with a triple bath with a shared bathroom. So that's something which students can choose with, and then the supplement will be attached to the uh, fee structure itself. So Nishant, if I could get you right, if yes, a student please. has got a IELTS of six band, he can go for a graduate faster program and finish it in two years. They can finish it in three years. So they will go for the graduate faster program where they will be going for, let's say IELTS 6.0, right? So they will be applying for the diploma. Depends if the student already has a diploma in hotel management from a different institute, then they can go for the higher diploma, of course. Yeah. But if the students are fresh graduates and they have just finished their year 12, then they can go directly for the diploma, followed by a higher diploma and then their bachelor's degree. And a student who has already got a bachelor's in hospitality can finish the program, master's program in one year. That's correct, yes. So that was very wonderful uh, to you know for you to explain everything to us. Thank you. Uh, is there an application fee for basically applying? There is no application fee. So students can apply with the form that uh, that I will provide to you after, at the end of this uh, webinar. So the students can share the application form with us. There is no fee application. Once the students have been issued the offer letter as well as the invoice, only then the amount of 3,000 Swiss francs needs to be settled, which is for the application process with the visa, uh, with the embassy itself. Perfect. So we have a WhatsApp group, which is helping them in facilitating the overall process. So we will basically definitely try to see as many as students looking for HTMI and try to connect them to you if possible. Definitely. So that uh, in their personal Q&A, if there are any, can be answered. If their parents have any questions, that can be answered. So. Thank you, Nishan. Thank you again for the wonderful presentation, for us answering all the questions, for attending, for being present here, and for presenting HTMI to all of us. It was wonderful to have you here. I hope you enjoyed as much as we did. Definitely. Thank you so much, Mr. Richard. Thank you so much for having me over. And it was really a pleasure to have everybody uh, to be participating in here. So really glad to be here. Perfect. So next, we have uh, basically few instructions. Uh, thank you again, basically, uh, Nishan, uh, for you. everything. And I now request, basically, uh, Aruna to let us know, basically, uh, what is there for tomorrow. If she can let us know again, you know, then she would be basically telling us everything about it. What to you, Aruna. Uh, thank you everyone for attending this student university webinar four. Uh, we want you to attend all webinars so that you get guaranteed results. So you have to, you should have no complaints, no excuses. Share the invite link with your friends and be on time. Tuesday, 24th August, the success skill would be power of subconscious part one. Present here is Mr. Richard Lasrado, Founder and Managing Director of EACC. The student questionnaire topic would be how to prepare for student visa and what do visa officer looks for. The university presenting is Sacred Heart University, Connecticut, USA. Present here is Ms. Francisca De Rizzo, Director of International Admissions. We'll be starting at 6.30 p.m. sharp. So we suggest you to log in 10 minutes early. Now, as I always say that your feedback is must for us so that we can improve every day. So follow us on Facebook EACC 2000 and follow us on Instagram EACC underscore 2000. I've provided the link in the chat box to give your feedback on our live Facebook page. The best feedbacks will be getting a special prize every week. So we need your feedback so that we can we can give special prizes at the end of the week. You do tag us at EACC2000 on Facebook and at the rate EACC underscore 2000 on Instagram. Follow us on YouTube at EACC Education Abroad Counseling Center. And for free Zoom one-on-one -on -one counseling, you can contact our study abroad volunteers and fix the appointment. And if you are not in any of these student university webinar for group, so you can fill the Google form and be a part of it. 
support us and forward the link to your family, friends and your net network. Thank you. So thank you. Uh, before we end, just, to remind, just a reminder that today is day eight, tomorrow is day nine. There's a lot of things happening. You know, do invite your friends, families and friends because this is a free webinar. If it was charged, then it would have been few in few lakhs, which you are getting free. Take the value of this and looking forward to see you tomorrow at 6.30. Bye, good night. Thank you and good night, Jessa and Saruna, Yasnadu and Jenna. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much.